I'm the worst. Do you want to make pals or something? I'm a really fun friend. We can have a great time. Actually, do you want to be best pals? I'll message you incessantly for weeks, months even. I'll make plans, we can see each other all the time. I'll send you wee voice notes of any passing thought or observation. I'll send you a whole slew of fun messages during the night to wake up to. And then one day, completely out of the blue, with no warning whatsoever, I'll stop. Just stop completely and you will never hear from me again. Sound good? <laughs> but do you want to be pals? I kind of really need some. <laughs> and I promise I am really genuinely actively trying to stop being the worst. No, I'm not. Well, I just don't know how to stop. I don't know how to stop just worsting about all over the place, all the time with everybody. And obviously that's people I know, new people, I don't even bother starting. There comes a point where you need to limit the amount of people who think you're the worst. I think, fundamentally, I'm just a really callous person. I don't know why I can't make myself care enough to behave like a normal human being. Imagine being ghosted by your best friend. And you don't know if you've done something to offend them or if they've suddenly died. How awful would that feel? Do I care how awful that feels? Apparently not. Oh, except I do. The longer I leave it, the worse it gets. I think my cut off is three business days. If you send me a message that I can't bring myself to read within three business days longer at the weekend, game over. And I will tell myself that I will reply. I'll put reply to Emily, reply to David, reply to Sophie on my to-do list every single day, genuinely believing that that is the day that I will pull myself together. I have literally dozens of unread messages. I turned off all notifications for all messaging apps months ago because I just couldn't handle it. And that's perfectly fine as a avoidance strategy. Now and again some will slip through the net and like an app that I didn't realise I had and I will panic and chuck my phone across the room because that is perfectly normal behaviour. <laughs> no but actually it is completely fine when you're stuck in the house concentrating on surviving a pandemic. But then things start opening up and you start seeing other people start seeing other people. And you realise that it has been six months since you last interacted with a living soul who is not also confined to the four walls of your own house. Six months. Cause it should not be that easy. And it should not be that difficult to just get a grip. Just send a message. Should I 
send a mass text to everybody I've worsted over the pandemic? <laughs> what would a message like that even look like? Hiya! Sorry, I've not replied to you. I know I've ignored all your multiple attempts at getting in contact with me and your valiant one-sided effort at keeping this friendship going. I'm just the worst lol. Anyway, what's new with you? Right. Come on. Get a grip. Now. Pick up your phone, open a message, read it, write a reply, send it, move on to the next person. If it's that easy, just do it now. Just, just do it now. Just do it right now. Go. Pick up phone. Open a message. <laughs> no. This is no way to live your life. Isolated in your own home, scared of your own phone. It's just a message. Right. Come on. You have ghosted out of countless friendships. You cannot afford to lose any more. You spent a year scared of WhatsApp. Behave yourself. Come on, no more. You are so lucky to have people who care about you. Come on, just do it now. Just do it now. Just get it done. Just do it right now. Get it done and that's it over with. Go, do it now. Just, just do it now. Okay, I've done it. I've opened a message. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's not scary. Of course it's not scary, you... It's fine, it's good. It's actually nice. Okay, good, brilliant. Hi, I'm so sorry to have completely disappeared. I'm the worst. Mm -hmm.